Hello friends, I hope that you are doing well. Today I will be answering the question on whether you are supposed to carry both your uh, work experience documents and the education documents for your DV interview. This is for someone who has already submitted their DS260 and have received their scheduled uh, date for the interview and wondering, do I carry both the documents uh, for proof of education and work experience? If you find this information useful, please consider subscribing. Give this a uh, thumbs up. It motivates me to keep creating content like this to help many more. To answer this question, I'll start from the initial stage, that is the application stage, where you do your DV lottery application. And in the application form, there is a point where you're supposed to select your education level, that is uh, various levels of your education, but there is nowhere you're supposed to enter your work experience. That is in, in terms of numbers, number of years, there is no way you're feeling that information. So at the application point, depending with the level of education that you choose, it will determine whether you're qualifying through education or through work experience. Let's say if you get, if your level of education is above um, the high school diploma, then you would qualify through education. But for the, any other level be below high school diploma, you will be qualifying through work experience. When the green card DV lottery application results are out and you have been selected as a winner, the next step is to fill your DS-260 form. And in this DS-260 uh, form, you are required to enter, one of the information that you're uh, required to enter is about your education and your work experience. So at this point, you have a chance to enter your work experience information. So if you're qualifying through education, then you will have to show at what level you you got to your level of education and then if you're qualifying through work experience this is where you're supposed to enter in details a detailed um, detailed information about your work experience this is because for someone with uh, education they will have to prove with their certificates and for you uh, for work experience you need to indicate uh, the work experience in details. Remember, you need to have at least two years of working experience in the last five years, and you need to also have a proof of, of that work experience, whether in terms of uh, contracts or maybe in, in the contacts details of the people who could be uh, your referees and could give information about the, your working your work during the that time. After the processing of your DS-260 form, you're then uh, scheduled for interview. That is depending with your case number. And once you've been given a date for the DV interview, you need to carry the documents that will act as proof of uh, whether you're qualifying through education or work experience. But remember, during the application stage, everyone indicated their level of education. And in the DS-260 form, you also indicated your level of education and work experience. So for the DV interview, you will need to carry uh, uh, both documents, that is the edu uh, proof of education, and proof of working experience so that if you're qualifying through education, they will see the documents. And if you're qualifying through work experience, you will have documents to prove that. But since everyone had to choose their level of education, it's, it, will, it is best to carry uh, both uh, documents.
as proof of your level education and then you will qualify through one of the two either through education or through work experience for work experience ensure you have contacts so people can be contacted to talk about your work experience have contracts and all documents that can prove that indeed you have that uh, working experience to everyone who is preparing for their dv interview i wish to uh, wish you the very best ensure you carry your both documents to your interview and i hope you get that visa give the correct information truthful information and you're going to get your visa if you found this information useful please consider subscribing for more and to my loyal uh, subscribers thank you so much keep on uh, sharing this content so that it can reach the people who really need this information i hope to see you in the next video and bye